Hey everyone, Catcoblin and Martin here, and today I'm going to be finishing up the Assassin's Creed 2 enemy review. I did part 1 a few months ago and I wanted to upload more videos, then I kind of forgot about this game. In part 1 I talked about the key things about each guard type, so watch part 1 if you're interested in that, but now we only have a few enemies and factions left to talk about, so without further ado, let's finish off this review once and for all. So our first faction for this part are the Venetian city guards. They're obviously found in Venice, but they do appear in Florence and San Gimignano during assassin contracts and in the main storyline, and they have blue on their uniforms. In sequence 8 memory 5, the archers shoot flame-tipped arrows in an attempt to bring down Leonardo's flying machine, and you can actually kick them when you get close. Take him! Can't take us all, boys! We'll wear him down! <laughs> Venice is well known for its huge thief operation, but there are a few treacherous thieves that side with the corrupt city guard, and they will attack you. You run into these traitors in sequence 7 memory 6 and sequence 9 memory 2. The thieves have the same combat techniques as an agile where they dodge your attacks. They're not that difficult and they usually hold swords or maces. In sequence 9 there's this one thief holding courtesans hostage. If you go close to them he'll assassinate them, but luckily a single shot from the hidden gun can be used to take him down. Or I will carve up another one. Dear, dear, benediction. Serving Venetians with style and quality. Now, when playing as Desmond, you're being tested on your abilities, and you have to activate all these security systems in the warehouse. At certain points, you'll experience the bleeding effect, where you see hologram-looking horses galloping towards you, and some soldiers fighting. Surprisingly, you can interact with the enemy soldier by trying to punch him, but he'll just block your attack. Uh, Lucy? I'm seeing things. The main part here is when Desmond passes out and you end up playing as Altair. In this section, you're at the rich district of Accra, right in front of the same castle where you assassinated William. And as you can see, there are Templar captains from the first game walking or standing around. They will push you away if you come close to them, but the funny thing is, you can use your sword or fists to take them down without consequence. The other knights will come to the scene, but instead of attacking you, they just push you again. And you can even use your hidden blade to do an air attack from a little bit of height, just like in the first game. Oh. 
Our next faction are Rodrigo's personal guards. They're pretty much your Templar soldiers, and they are found everywhere. You usually see them guarding buildings that contain a codex page, accompanying Templars during contract missions, and wherever you find Rodrigo, you'll find these guys not too far away. I should also note that in this part of Venice, you can find Rodrigo's archers and a lone patrol. These guards wear black with dark red details. They do most of the Templars' dirty work involving sabotage, and what's really cool is that in sequence 11 you get to disguise yourself as a young captain so that you can come face to face with the Grand Master himself. <laughs> Rodrigo's personal guards are pretty cool looking, but the Agiles in this faction are very scarce. In sequence 6 memory 2, the Agiles are seen riding horses. They'll ride up near your cart, jump onto it, and they'll carefully make their way towards you. To shake them off the cart, you can move it left or right to throw them off. Even when they reach you, Etsy will just assassinate them anyways. They're trying to climb on board! Knock them off! Hey, hey! Watch out! Don't yeah. let the carriage roll over! Into! Someone's on top! Do sharp turns to make the carriage roll! At the Vila, you can practice fighting against your ally mercenaries. You can practice against ones with different combat styles. Surprisingly, you can't disarm the agile mercenary, and once you defeat them, they will usually push you away. Just shows to tell you that these guys are sore losers and bad sports. Also, in memory 3 of sequence 3 and 5, you actually get to practice fighting with Mario, and he teaches you the basics of combat. <laughs> I don't know. See, perfect. Our last faction in the game is the City Garden of Rome, which would later change appearances in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. They are only found in Sequence 14, Memory 2. 
They wear light black with light red and grayish details, and the basic guards don't cower. Now, the only unit that they're missing is the Agile, although the archers here are armors, and they pretty much look like the captains and have the exact same combat strategy. The final enemy is the Abstergo Security Guard. Now when you first play the game these guys will just punch you, but now they have batons used to beat you, and you encounter them at the end of the game. They're pretty much like the basic soldier, except for they don't cower. You can even steal their baton which acts as a mace, and give them a taste of their own medicine. With that last enemy defeated, the enemy review for Assassin's Creed 2 is finally finished. Or is it? Anyways, hope you enjoyed the review, make sure to like and subscribe, and as always, I will see you all in the next reviews to come. Amigo, we only wish the dog to you.